Hello, Anthony here with Backyard Ecology. Today I'm going to talk to you about spicebush, Lindera benzoin. Spicebush is a deciduous shrub commonly found in the woodlands of eastern North America. Ranging from Canada to the Gulf Coast and the eastern seaboard to the Great Plains, spicebush can be found in a wide variety of natural areas, including rich bottomland forest and woodlands, along streams and riparian corridors, and on moist slopes such as east and north facing slopes. Spicebush spreads by seed and when conditions are favorable can form dense thickets. Although preferring dappled shade, spicebush can survive in full sun if there is enough soil moisture. Spicebush normally grows as a multi-trunk shrub with all of the trunks emanating from the root collar, although single trunk specimens can be found. Spicebush attains an average mature height of 6 to 12 feet with a spread of 6 to 8 feet. The leaves of spicebush are dark glossy green above, lighter green below, and smooth. Alternate on the stem with pointed tips and tapered bases. Spicebush has a very distinctive smell. If you take a leaf and crush it up, it's going to have a sweet spicy smell. Um, you'll never forget it once you smell it. Spicebush is a host plant for at least three species of caterpillar, including the Promethea moth, the Tulip Tree Beauty, and the awesomely strange Spicebush Swallowtail. If you want to learn more about the Spicebush Swallowtail butterfly, check out this video. An added bonus of Spicebush when planted in the landscape is that it has awesome yellow fall color. Young spicebush twigs are bright green and smooth. Older twigs are gray to gray brown, smooth, with many small white lenticels. Lenticels are warty looking growths on the bark. The bark is likewise gray with many lenticels and often white splotches. The flower buds of spicebush are prominent in winter, are yellow green in color, round, and resemble a BB. Spicebush flowers very early in the spring before it leaves out and is one of the first shrubs to flower and its bright yellow flowers are quite noticeable on the landscape. The individual flowers are small and inconspicuous but they make up for it in sheer numbers. Spicebush has separate male and female plants and by midsummer small green berries are forming on the female shrubs. The green berries ripen to a brilliant red by late summer and early fall. All parts of spicebush are edible. The leaves, the bark, flowers, and berries. And have been used through the years for various things such as beverages, flavorings, and herbal remedies. And even just eating straight up. It's got a very stout flavor to say the least. Uh, definitely something you would have to get used to. Please do not just go out in the woods and start tasting plants. Uh, you have to know what you are uh, identifying and know whether it is toxic or not. So don't do what I just did. A wide range of songbirds definitely find spicebush berries palatable, including the gray catbird, the hermit thrush, the red-eyed vireo, and even the northern bobwhite. Spicebush is an excellent choice as a wildlife plant. It feeds a wide variety of songbirds and is a host plant for the spicebush swallowtail butterfly, among others. It is relatively easy to care for, grows in a wide variety of soils, can take full sun to full shade, and is relatively disease resistant, except for one thing, a new introduced disease called laurel wilt. Uh, laurel wilt kills plants in the laurelaceae family and has been found in the southeast. Unfortunately, if a plant gets it, it is probably going to die. The disease is spread by ambrosia beetles. Right now, they seem to be preferring sassafras, but they will switch to a new host when they run out of sassafras. And unfortunately, the major host in the, in this, in the eastern United States is going to be spicebush. We do have a podcast about laurel wilt disease. The links are in the description. If you enjoyed this video on Spicebush, be sure to subscribe to Backyard Ecology. 
to learn more about native plants, invasive species, habitat management, and exploring the world in your backyard. Thanks for watching.